Hey, what's going on, guys? So, anyways, the lot, the few things that we have been discussing lately is North Korea, um, and even Las Vegas shooting. There's a couple other topics that we have not really touched based on that is still evolving. If you guys go back in the history of my channel, you guys know that we talk about United States' involvement within Syria. Well, that's still going on. Um, it's definitely not mainstream at this point. It's one of those things like the information's out there, but if you want to know about it, you have to go out and look for it. Um, mainstream's not going to talk about it. Um, and with the verge of nuclear war with North Korea, that's pretty much mainstream now as well as the Las Vegas shooting. Um, but there's still a lot of things that's going on in the Middle East that we really need to pay attention to. And what I'm about to talk to you guys a little bit about is if you guys are Christians and you guys follow the Bible, you know, end times. Now, you guys heard me plenty of times. I'm, you know, I'm going to quote a singer here named Yellow Wolf. He came out with a song with Eminem, and I'm sorry, I don't, I'm mad as hell at Eminem right now. Um, but it was called Best Friends, and the very first wor words out of Yellow Wolf's mouth at the beginning of that song is, I'm not much of the Bible type, but I believe in the last days. Um, so, what I'm about to talk to you guys a little bit about right now is what I'm learning, um, what I'm listening to with my subscribe channels, what they're bringing forward, and I, I do agree with them. Um, so, let's go ahead and hop into this a little bit. For the ones of you guys that don't know, you know, America's been over there training f factions, as they would say, within Syria, you know, to fight ISIS. That's what the Americans are said to be doing, okay? But it's being coming out that we are actually over there trying to overthrow Bala al-Shad. If you guys remember back in April, President Trump shot uh, Tomahawk cruise missiles into Syria and hit the airport, the military airport. Um... All because of the false flag. And again, like I said, I think, you know, if you go back in my recent videos and why I think it, I think that chemical attack that they're saying that Balal Shah did, I think that was a false flag. Um, but anyways, you know, we do know that America's over there. They are training opposition forces. They have a major military base in Al Tanif that has not changed. Um, we are really really supportive of the Kurdish forces, which Turkey thinks the Kurdish forces are a part of a, a, tourist, a terrorist organization within Turkey. Um, also, we're supposed to be over there, you know, fighting against ISIS. But if you guys remember, before Trump came into office <clears throat> and Obama, you know, Russia and the United States was going back and forth, you know, because Russia was saying that, in fact, the United States was over there blowing up hospitals with, and killing civilians and children. And that's pretty much where the whole Russian, you know, point pointing fingers really began. In in my in my opinion, guys, my opinion, I think it all stems back to that. Um, another reason why they're trying to delegitimize Russia, trying to say that Russia is involved in the hacking. You know, first off, we never heard of anything about Russia. You know, in that sense, until after all that happened, you know, it's just another thing to tell the American people why we don't like Russia. Um, but in fact, you know, Russia called America out for blowing up hospitals in Aleppo, if you guys remember that. Again, you guys gotta go back in history to get to where we are today. Alright, now, I brought out a couple weeks ago that America has opened up a marine base, a military base inside of Israel. Um, and we all know that Israel has been having issues with Hezbollah, which is a terrorist organization inside of Iran. Alright, now don't forget that... Donald Trump, President Trump, really disavows the whole nuclear deal that the Obama administration did, that the Clintons helped work on. He doesn't agree with it. He kind of wants to take it away. I don't think he's going to actually take it away. I think he's going to go into it and actually revise it to where America wins off of it. Um, but anyways, there's a lot of things that's going on recently that's going to spark everything up. And like I said in my last video... You know, we know that Russia and China both said that they will stand up for North Korea if the United States does a preemptive attack. Um, now, if that's to be true, we don't know. We're hoping not. I hope, I mean, I hope that there's going to be no strike at all. But here's another thing that to keep an eye out for that could actually spiral out of control 
and cause, you know, not only a, a nuclear war, but World War Three. Okay, we know the the shit that's been going back and forth between Russia and America. You know, the sanctions and all of this. Um, everything that China has been saying. I, we brought out video. Uh, one of my sources that I watch on YouTube brought out, and I shared with you guys how that discovered that there was a Chinese diplomatic van that was in the parking lot of where Kim Jong-un fired one of these ICBM tests. So there's a lot of speculation that maybe, in fact, China's involved. We don't know. But this is what this is what I'm getting at, you know, with the Middle East. The Middle East is a mess. We've always been saying that, you know, you got Syria fighting its own civil war. Also, at the same time, you have Russia over there keeping ISIS at bay. Lately, Russia's been blaming the United States for harboring ISIS. And a lot of people do agree that ISIS was created by by the Obama administration. I'm not going to um, disagree with that one one bit. I have my, my reasoning for believing that. Um, but anyways, let's get back to Israel. Israel, as of lately, has been really amping up the military efforts inside of Syria. They've been flying their fighter jets inside of Syria. Um, Syria's been known to actually shoot at these jets. And just yesterday, Israel blew up one of their um, Syria's artillery batteries. Israel's come out a couple of days ago begging America for more involvement within Syria. Also, at the same time, Russia, you know, they've been keeping their rhetoric up, you know, about America's helping ISIS out and all of this. Um, so anyways, what I want to bring out to you guys is, you know, if you guys follow the Bible in Revelations, it talks about the end times. Um, even Isaiah inside the Bible. If you guys read some of the scriptures from Isaiah, um, he talks a lot about the end times. And he talks about when nations turn against Israel. Um, <clears throat> well, now you guys also got to you know take into consideration that one of the biggest nations that's against Israel right now is Iran. Okay, and when I say that, I'm not talking about, you know, just Iran. I'm talking about the terrorist organizations known as Hezbollah within Iran. We know that Iran is giving Hezbollah missiles. They're not nuclear capable yet, but we know that they're getting Scud missiles. Same as uh, Hamas out there in Gaza and Egypt, you know, and then Iran. And now Syria is getting involved, and they're all pinning up against Israel. It states in the Bible when many nations... Go against Israel, the end is nigh. I'm not trying to say that that's what's going to happen. Again, like I said, I don't believe in the religion factor. This is just my opinion. But for the ones of you guys that do pay attention to it, I'm bringing it out for you guys. Um, you know, there's a lot of back and forth going on between Israel, Syria, Iran, and now Afghanistan. You know, we know that Donald Trump has said that he's going to be ramping up... Um, efforts inside of Afghanistan to fight ISIS. However, the Afghanistan government doesn't want America there. So, you know, the whole Middle East is one big mess. Um, it's also being speculated that Iran has did trade deals with North Korea in the past. So, it might be another thing to tie it in. But if there's a war that breaks out in the Korean Peninsula, I'm only wondering if the rest of the world will follow suit and actually turn one conflict into a global conflict. Um, I'm not saying that it's going to happen. I'm, I'm, guys, I'm not, I'm not on my YouTube channel to try to scare, scare you guys and say that this is going to happen. Wait, just watch the world. The world's going to end. I'm, I'm not here for that. All right, I'm just bringing ideas out to your head. I mean, these are the, these are the topics that's going on in the world right now. You know, I mean, this is real stuff. But not a whole lot of people know about it. So I'm bringing it out to you guys. And I'm exercising your brains. Okay. Um, if you guys want. You guys can go back. And you know. Just type in Israel. At Google. Type in news. You know. Everything's right there. This is all posted. This is all being done. Right now. You know. It's just not mainstream. In, Amer in America. Because it doesn't fit the scenario. North Korea. D uh, Trump. And Vegas. And even pretty soon, I got a feeling, come November 4th, if it's true, Antifa 
Antifa's promising civil war beginning November 4th against America. Um, they're going to go for emergency and uh, police officers and EMTs and stuff like that. They're going to try to cripple that situation. And then they're actually going to, in fact, start turning their backs on Trump supporters. Um, now, I don't know if that's true. I don't. I, that could just be some fear-mongering that I'm looking into. And um, I'm, I'm not the person to say it's true. I mean, me, I don't waste my time looking into it. I'm not going to give them five minutes of my time other than this video. So, congratulations, Antifa. I just, I'm putting you guys out there. Alright, guys. So, anyways, that, like I said, pay attention not only to North Korea... But pay attention to what's been going on in Israel with Syria. America is still over there. Still got their fingers involved with everything going on. Um, and just hope when shit breaks the fan, it doesn't break the fan, you know, worldwide. Because that would be, that'd be bad. Alright guys, later.